Hello everyone and welcome back to another Joypad video with me, Dinosaur, continuing my journey through Dead Space 2. I'm kind of marathoning it right now because I've never been this far into the game and it's got me hooked. I want to know what happens. So this video is taking place in the same session as the Isaac, last three. There's a gunship docked here. What? Is it damaged? Not that I can tell. Isaac, do you hear me? We're gonna make it out of here alive. One of us is. It's too dangerous for you to stay here, Ellie. What are you talking about? Just get your ass in here. I'm starting a system check now. I will be very, very... I've said this in multiple videos. I will be very surprised if they both make it out of this. And here's a spoiler. It's a Dead Space 3 that I know for sure stars Mr. Isaac Clark. So... As much as I would like it to happen, I feel like Ellie isn't going to make it. Oh, 10,000 credits. Um, but as I was saying before that, like, I am into this game right now. And I want to know what happens. So I'm just gonna... This will probably be my last video for this session. Um, I also want to crank out a Breath of Fire 2 video. Those feel like so much more of a chore because it's such a slow-paced game. But I'm also enjoying that, so... You know... Uh, but we're in chapter 13. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's 16 chapters. So, four more to go. <laughs> I don't Main own... Power on. Are you in here? Auxiliary systems booting up. Hey. Isaac, what are you doing? Closing hatch. Oh. Hey, Isaac, what are you doing? Gunship command over. Confirm. Isaac! What are you doing? Open the door right now! Emergency launch cycle initiated. No! Airlock safe. No! No! Don't you dare! Don't you dare launch the ship! <laughs> Isaac! It's your best chance, Tilly. You got life support and comms. Hey. You gotta be rescued. You bastard. I need you to be rescued. I couldn't save Nicole. But I can save you, Ellie. So, uh... Bye. Really? Aw, oh, good guy, Isaac. Are you ready to talk now? Why? So I can let you go, too. I can't do that, Nicole. I never wanted to let you go. A lot happened that we never wanted. Isaac. Touch me. I don't think that's a good idea. Isaac, please. Make us whole. I can't. Ah, that's I love that stuff in in, in horror games, man. Shit, no waypoint. What the hell? Oh, I'm very bummed about it. <coughs> I mean, bummed and not bummed about Ellie. Protects you, guard, but it ends here. I have 200 armed security personnel. Everything is discovered. Even if you do get in, you won't get blown. Cool. Tyman's still like this nebulous enemy, I have to say. I don't really, really know why he's the bad guy. Oh, oh baby. Power nose, baby. Oh man. Alright, that feels good. Alright, so no spoilers, but if you played this before, 
Well, that's dumb. I can't ask this question and expect not to get spoilers. Does <coughs> Ellie come back? That's all I want to know. Excuse me. I'm very sorry. I've still got a cough. It feels very endgame-y, but yeah, there's still a couple chapters left. Figured there was gonna be like an enemy rush here. Ugh, that didn't feel good at all. No waypoints, no shit. Sorry, all of a sudden the fact that I'm um, having to deal with <coughs> human adversaries is suddenly like way more stressful. Which is not something I expected to happen. Such a, a weird twist. It's like um It's like in um Oh well okay. 
I kind of want to say it's like in The Last of Us, but you ha you fight bandits and humans throughout most of that game, so I guess it doesn't really compare. But it always feels more jarring when you fight, you know, people as opposed to zombies, if you want to call them zombies. And, you know, that's something that they're saying that The Last of Us 2 is going to make you feel like really uncomfortable with that sort of thing. Isaac is using the Necromorphs against his enemies. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense that there's one of the infector enemies in here, because we're up against... Um, there were all those soldiers, they had to be turned into necromorphs quickly. So, you get an infector enemy in here, and they become necromorphs. Now what you gonna do about it, huh? Fight me. I hope that doesn't become a thing, by the way. Hey! Isaac, where are you going? I don't know. Well, that's why I'm here, Isaac. To show you the way. Thanks, Nicole. I guess I don't know how to feel about you. I don't know how to feel about most things in this game right now. You've done a great job of subverting my expectations. Seems within reach, I can almost solve it myself. 
Hey, funny. I was telling Travis the other day that it's almost like it wants us to succeed. I've never seen anything like it. Once we finally solve this heuristic stabilization problem, we should be able to start growing the layers of the marker from the mineral baths. You want to grow the marker? Hello. At the. Oh, good. Is that a new enemy type? You. Go down there. So, the last. One of the last videos went kind of long. Whatever. Next save station. I will stop. So the javelin fun itself is pretty dang powerful now. Yeah, I need a javelin. Oh, no, 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 no. Just juking you all over the place. Juke, 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 juke. Stop. Damn it. Oh. At least that this armor serves me pretty well. God, that spit is so irritating. Yeah, I would have liked to do something about that, but what could he do? System built into the shielding around the marker test bed should be blocking the signal entirely, but I swear the dementia signal is still getting through. Not a single thing registers on any sensor outside the shield wall. You don't put the same sensor inside with the marker and it goes off the charts. So we either have something entirely or I don't know what. You know what we have? Oh man, please heaven help us. Cool. So this is another instance of science having gone too far. As much sci-fi media is. Very pleased with it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I was, I was about to make the point that I was being smart and not reloading so I could upgrade the capacity. Damn it. The line gun deserves some love.
Oh boy. You, come in here. Just hang out. No! I hate you guys, though. I really do. And now the room's goopy, so I can't even run. This is a boner. This is where I bravely slash stupidly say, Come at me, bro. Boy, that uh, armor upgrade is really doing it for me, I'm not saying. Bernie Worthington, research log 16671. It's the same signal. Dementia and codes and blueprints are all caused by the same signal from the marker. It's the people that are different. Smart people see codes and blueprints, but to everyone else, it's just noise. Noise that drives you mad. Oh, so you have to be smart to get the marker. I see. Cool, there's a save station. So, oh, I hear babies. That's not good. So, <coughs> thank you for watching, everyone. Do the usual. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. Content <coughs> uploaded daily. Games and music. There will always be something new on my channel every day. Beyond that, check out the podcast my friends and I do called The Role Less Taken, where we play games that are not Dungeons and Dragons. It's an actual play RPG podcast. You can see here currently running Apocalypse World, using the Powered by the Apocalypse system. I'm running the campaign. Search for the role that's taken wherever you can find podcasts. Make sure that you spell role, R-O-L-E, and you will find us. Beyond that, <coughs> global pandemic going on. Here I'm coughing a little bit. Don't think it's the coronavirus. Really hope it's not. Um, but hey, wash your hands, stay calm, stay safe, be smart, and be kind. Don't let the fear get to you. Just be kind. If you have to go out, go out. But don't be mean to other people. Don't be a dick. Alright? Cool. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.